All right, part 38 of who the fuck did I marry? I'm gonna call this uh, housekeeping and missing pieces. So housekeeping, um, first and foremost, as much as I know you all have enjoyed uh, this series and some of you have told me how um, entertaining you have found it, <laughs> um, the, the story will be done um, this weekend. So in other words, I don't care how many parts I got to film, it will be done this weekend. We're just not bring, we're not going to drag it into the new week. Um, so I just want to let everyone know that. So please be sure to tell your sisters, your mamas, your aunties, your cousins, your best friends. Hey, y'all, go ahead and watch all the parts because she's saying she's wrapping it up this weekend. Um, but I'll leave the playlist up, so don't worry. Um, also, uh, let's see. I'm sorry for the people who were like, I keep talking really slow. I didn't know that I was. And they're like, you're just long winded. I'm very detailed. So that's probably what you're feeling is that I'm detailed and I'm trying to get everything out again in a responsible manner. So, um, you all have asked me if I will do a live. Yes. I will. I don't have any issue doing a live. I feel like if you're going to put the story out there, you know you're going to get questions. So if you stand on business and you stand on what you said, do the live. So yes, I will do a live. And I will let you all know when I'm going to do a live. So it won't just be some random shit. I will actually do a live and um, let everyone know. So that way, if you have questions, bring them. Um, the issue with doing a live is that I need moderators. <laughs> so, because I just anticipate a lot of people have questions and I'm just one person and I don't want to be accused of she's ignoring my question, which means there's holes in her story. Y'all, we all know how TikTok is. So, but I will absolutely, um, do a live. That's the housekeeping missing pieces. So when I said before that it's important to me that I am responsible on how I tell this story, meaning I'm clear and I go in detail. I realized that I left out some missing parts and it was brought to my attention by a number of you. Thank you because I'm all for accountability. Um, I did not go into how he, how my ex-husband Legion left the condiment company and then went to Apple. I also did not go into detail on when my mom came to visit. Both of those were in the month of April. Um, I was going to go into detail a little bit more on the Apple situation because as you probably have figured out, of course something came out later on. But nevertheless, um, in terms of April of 2021, my mom came for a visit. She lived in Arkansas. She came to visit us. She came to visit us after we had that whole sexting on Facebook incident and just after we had started marital counseling. There were no fireworks during her visit. There, nothing was weird. I did talk about how, um, you know, my family has always been there. And if you spoke with my mom, she would tell you she didn't see anything out of the ordinary. Um, the, but there was something in her spirit that just didn't sit right. She didn't talk to me about it at the time. She did not raise her concerns. Um, she simply, when she came to visit, we welcomed her with open arms. Legion was excited to meet her. She was excited to meet him. We took my mom out to eat. Um, it was it was a typical, very quiet, um, non-active visit. I didn't know what my mother thought until later on. So she didn't share with me during the visit, something don't seem right. Um, she, she and I sat in the guest room talking. I never told her anything that was going on. Number one, because again, it goes back to that mindset of what happens in my marriage needs to stay in my marriage. Um, and I talk about how I didn't think it would, looking back, it was not a good idea that I told my aunt what had happened. My aunt is not the type that's going to tell my mother that, that, in other words, if you confide in her, she keeps it between you and her. So my mom never knew that there were any issues. Um, and so there was there was nothing for her to be on mama bear mode. Had she known, this would have been a very different trip but she didn't know. So she did come to visit. Um, everything went fine. He and I put on a united front. Oh, we're so happy. We're so, you know, in love. 
Um, and yes, behind the scenes was a whole different story. He talked to her about how he was looking to buy a house and how he told her how work was going, you know, how his job, you know, little, how his job was going, um, you know, bragging as usual, which I had, I did tell my mom, look, he's going to talk about himself and money a lot. So, um, <laughs> just change the subject. If he brings up a house, change the subject. That was my instructions to her because I was like, I don't even want to get into the whole house situation. So other than that, uneventful. Now, once my mom left, this is still in April, everything was fine with him at the condiment company. As far as I knew, everything was fine. Um, what ended up happening is he randomly came home one day and starts complaining about changes that are going on at the company. When he started complaining about those changes, it was things like, um, keep in mind, he is not VP of the company. He was VP of, I, I keep getting it wrong, but I think it was VP of production is what the memo says. So he was not the second in command for the company. He was upset that he was being blamed for, um, production uh stats that the production was down he was upset that his plant manager apparently had um resigned he was upset that some of the policy changes that were coming into play that would affect his plant these are the things that he would he was coming home and complaining about literally he would complain. He started complaining Monday. By Friday, he said, you know what? If they continue doing this, then I just need to find another job. He was like, I think I'm going to call my homeboy that I work with at Apple. And I'm going to see, you know, what they have available. Yes, there were red flags going up. Of course there were. Um, at this point, we're now we're not even dealing with United Nations of red flags. We are dealing with the Olympics. We are dealing with the parade of all nations. Everybody got a red flag. So when he said that, I was kind of like, okay, because I had become numb to all the antics that he did. I was numb to it. So he literally said, I think I'm going to call my homeboy and I'm going to see what's at Apple. My response to him was, well, what about your salary? <laughs> um, would you take a pay cut? He was like, no, I'm not going to take a pay cut. Like, I wouldn't leave unless it's going to be the same amount or more, or more money. Y'all, the next week, last week of April, I'm at work, minding my own business. He calls me and tells me I've decided to resign. You what? I've decided to resign. Don't worry. Don't don't get all crazy. Um, I had talked to my homeboy. There is a position at Apple, and I'm on my way there now to go and meet him so that I can get some information on the position. We're married, y'all. We're married. So what I said to him was, "Well, will you get all this in writing?" His words to me were, of course, I'm going to get it in writing. I'm not stupid. You know what? I don't even want to talk to you no more. Click. That's the end of April. So that is how I was introduced to this Apple job. Again, if you stick with this series, you, you will find out exactly what happened. But that's how I was introduced to the Apple job. It literally was in a span of within two weeks. And he resigned from the condiment company and immediately said, I'm going to move over to Apple. Just wanted to clarify that. So we will continue on.